It isn't too difficult. You don't have to be a Tarzan, merely an engineer. Thank you. It was nice of you to invite me. Oh, no. No more than a bruise or a cut or two or <laughs> an occasional strained muscle, thanks to engineering. Well, planning, research, technique. Uh, a man would have to be crazy to attempt any stunt without first trying to smooth over all the difficulties. We'll take, um... Take one of our stunts in the fighting of Flynn, for example. Like the, uh, the pole vault from one balcony to another. I went over that stunt for three weeks before we filmed it. One miss in timing or a slip of the hand would have meant a broken leg at least. Yes, yes, sometimes even longer. Like the one in which I slide down a 60 degree slanting castle buttress with our new leading lady, Helena Carter, in my arms. We studied that stunt for more than a month, figuring out every possible thing that could go wrong. For one false step would have meant two broken bodies, Miss Carter's and my own. <laughs> and then when we did perform it, we did it right in one take. Yes, it is, I can promise you. <laughs> Well, there are thousands of O'Flynn's in Ireland, but there's no question any place in the world as to who the fighting O'Flynn was. <laughs> well, they are, certainly, but um, you know, pick a fight with one of them, you'll find out quickly enough. But as far as history is concerned, there was only one who was known as the fighting O'Flynn. That's right, the O'Flynn, leader of the clan O'Flynn who saved Ireland from being invaded by Napoleon when he was trying to capture England and the world. And he worked out very nicely, and we, we honestly feel that the fighting O'Flynn will win the favor of moviegoers everywhere. For besides being an excellent romantic story, it has fine direction, photography, and cast. Well, let me see. She's red-headed, beautiful, very talented, and uh, <laughs> quite a devil. I mean that she's full of fun. Whenever we had a free moment from the camera, she'd gang up with Richard Green and play a gag on one of us on the set. I remember one time the two of, two of them put on some extra clothes and wigs and sneaked onto the soundstage with some extras who were to watch me go through a very important speech. Just as I uh, neared the climax, uh, Helena and Richard coughed. I started my speech over again, and again they coughed near the climax. They apologized, and I started over again, and again they coughed. Finally, in desperation, I started over to them with two cups of water, and as I neared them, they broke into a fit of laughter. And it was only then that I realized that the two sick-wigged extras were my leading lady, Hel Helena Carter, and my film rival for her affection, Richard Green. <laughs> No, no, I, I started laughing with him. It was a good gag. Yes, it was. We, we had a lot of fun, and yet we got our work done. Why, what have I done? Well, that's, that's very nice of you to say, but no one's day is so full that they can't put in a little extra for a worthy cause, is it? <laughs> oh, there's all the time if you don't waste it. To Europe, but not on a rest tour. Rather, on a tour of the 
various countries on behalf of CARE and the United Nations Association. Just about four months, speaking to little people and big people, and everyone, everywhere, expressed their gratitude for the care parcels Americans are sending to families over there. Believe me, many American, many European families owe their lives to the thoughtfulness of the Americans purchasing care packages. I just wish more of us here would contribute to this worthwhile cause. And on behalf of the European family who will receive it, many, many thanks. Goodbye and good luck to you all.